Welcome to the fun and exciting world of machine knitting. Yeah. So I was thinking what to do with the yarn balls that I made in four or five videos ago. So I had these skins that I transformed into yarn balls and I really wanted to make something with it. Um, as a little background, I do usually like to work, to work with uh, chunky yarn because it's just easier um, and it also works faster. So I started working it with, uh, let's say normal, um, appropriate size knitting needles. I thought, why not make myself a sweater? I've never done it. Sure, but it's not that difficult. Well, it is. But then I remembered I have a knitting machine somewhere. Uh, so it was a gift from a friend of mine. She got it from an aunt, if I remember correctly, or her grandma. We did use it couple times mostly we just made swatches just to get to know the machine um, but that was many years ago haven't touched it since so I don't remember a thing um, but yeah I just thought let's try to use that and make something with it so here's a little bit of what I did uh, the process obviously I took it out had to dust it off oil it um, because it is uh, an old machine on its own. I believe it's from the 70s, um, beginning of the 80s. Yeah, needed a little bit of uh, TLC. Uh, still haven't done uh, the deep cleaning and restoring, um, but I might in case I decide to use it more. I just wanted to see if I can get it going. Um, the one from the yarn bolts I made is sort of the biggest uh, sort of yarn you can use with this type of machines. There are some chunky and extra chunky uh, knitting machines, but they're difficult to come by here. They're also very expensive. So that's kind of working with what I have. So yeah, here's how it goes. So this is my knitting machine. It's a Singer and I believe it's the same model as White and Superba knitting machines. This is the needle bed with all these needles. These are technically latch hooks and they're what forms the different stitches that you can do with the machine. It's a double bed which means that both bed of needles can work together to create stuff like ribbing. And this is the carriage, which is what transports the yarn. Uh, it has different tension settings, which is this little wheel and all these buttons that do, again, different things. And then a little row counter in the back. So the front bed lowers and this allows you to access your knitting or do stuff with the needles. The needles come out all the way or they just stay in working position which is sort of in the middle like so. And when they're in that position as you can see the carriage pulls them out and they come out, grab the yarn, pull it back to create the stitch. So this is basically how the machine works. It has this selector comb, which allows us to select only some needles and that's to create stuff like ribbing or decorative stitches uh, that use alternate needles. And for example, in this case, I selected alternate needles on both beds and it's to start knitting with a rib so I threaded my yarn in the carriage selected the knitting button and as you can see this starts 
the beginning of the knitting. I'm gonna insert this comb, which is what keeps the work down. So I'm just put it through the bottom and then insert this thread that keeps it there and then adding weight and we can start working in the round in this case and then once our weights are in we can work our normal ribbing once the ribbing is done we use this transfer tool to move all the yarn that's on the front bed one towards me to the back and as you can see this is how our ripping was done. Now that all the needles are in the back bed, we can work a classic stockinette stitch or other stitches. We're gonna add these claw weights to the edges, which are gonna keep them down uh, so the stitches are nice and tidy. Just working some rows. You can see how the stockinette stitch is forming. And this is how it looks. It starts creating its own fabric. You can see the ways keeping it down. This is how the front looks, because obviously we're looking at from the inside. Okay, so there was some trouble. I did my swatches, as you saw. Um, it's very important to try different times to get the best tension um, so that your swatch will look how it should be. Uh, I went on and decided to start. Again, I still have this like sweater project in my head. Um, I started doing a front Uh, I've never done the shaping of the shoulders and the neck. Uh, obviously, you can go for like a T-shaped sweater, which is the easiest um, you could do. That's not what I'm doing because, of course, uh, didn't come out right. Neck is way too big. The shoulders are long, but it's sort of a should be a drop shoulder, so I don't really mind that. But they're very, very pointy, too sloped because uh, I decreased two little needles while I should have done, for example, four or six, I did two every row. Um, so yeah, scrap this. I've done another one. It's another disaster. I'm happy because the stitching does look nice and feels nice. It could be a tiny bit looser, but I'm okay with that. The ribbing looks amazing. And this one I had a mistake with the thread. I believe this is not my fault. This was in the thread. I just didn't notice it. Uh, and also, again, horrible neck. Uh, a little less slopey on the shoulders. Very long shoulders. Don't really mind that. I think it could be a look. Um, but neck is wrong. So it's not that terrible. It's just a bit wide. I would like it more sort of crew neck -y. So yeah, I'm on attempt number three now. Uh, I was thinking if you might be interested, uh, I could try and make it into sort of a short series of videos or at least another video um, in which I do and uh, hopefully succeed into making the different parts and then show you how I stitch them together and get sweater please let me know if you would like that I certainly would um, I'm gonna make it off camera anyways because I really really want to do this and I love uh, machine knitting I would like to get to know more about it so just in case that is what I would like to do um, anyway thank you for watching I hope you liked the video uh, if you did, leave a like, subscribe if you aren't, that would be a great help, and I'll see you next time. Bye, have a great day.